Jay, I'm worried about you, young man. Dude, why are you crying, brother? Would you like me to bring you to the hospital? No, can you give me another backpack? Like, this shit's getting annoying, bro. It's like every time I get something, everything else just falls the fuck apart, bro. This type of stuff haunts me, man. You don't understand. It's brutalizing on my soul. You know, it just, it, it's just sad. It, it's so sad. And I'm pretty helpless in what I can really do. <laughs> what does your sign say? You've upgraded. Yeah, you got the paint stick and everything on there. It's like... Gatorade or Dr. Pepper? Gatorade. How you doing, Rick? Well, you are right. It charges. If I plugged my phone into this to charge my phone, and it went right down to 25. Yeah. So there's a couple options involved. Go away. Well, that, or you could use it for some type of street currency or keep it as an emergency because the one you have now is five times better than this this is yeah. probably about 10 years old so it's just wore out is what happened so yeah. but there you go all right it's it, it says 100 now but as soon as you plug something in like you said yeah, exactly you could always use the flashlight on it too if you had to. yeah yeah see a little flashlight jay, yeah one second jay what's going on man you don't look so good can i have that gatorade please yeah what's wrong man freaking backpack like my zipper is just stuck dude it's just irritating me man. no i mean other than that you look kind of sickly i mean you feeling all right it's too damn hot out here yeah you want a cooling towel okay. it's probably almost frozen yeah you never know how long i need to bring them around so but uh I'll tell you what man yeah, you look worn out. Let me get you a cooling towel. You need one? Yeah, sure. All right. I still got mine. You still got yours? Yeah. So you're a veteran. <laughs> you just you just handle it. Yeah. But, all right, I'll be right back, guys. Tell the truth, it looks like uh, young Jay there might have gotten beaten up. Yeah, I got. You were asking about lunch. Yeah. Yeah, I got a couple. Only two. I had four, but uh, here. Put the straw on your neck, man. The wind's taking it in different directions. There you go. Yeah, thank you. Sir. Now that's reusable. You know, you just run it under cold water and it's good to go. You know, you can put ice on it if you want, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you know, even when it's dry, it helps pull heat away from your skin. Yeah, yeah. So, Jay, I'm worried about you, young man. You look sickly. Here you go, brother. Let's collect this. Let's do the triple wrap, double wrap. Yeah, man. Do you need any medical attention? You look like you're about to fall out, young man. What's wrong with Jay? Well, I just got back from being up here. Looking kind of sickly, to be honest. Well, all right, all right. You can do lunch then. Yeah. All yeah, right, I'm I can set you up. Yeah. I'm always so, starving. Yeah, you're always hungry. Every time yeah. you see me, I'm hungry. <laughs> right. All right. I wanted to bring that battery back though. Yeah, uh, no, even though it doesn't have a ton of use, but like you said, you had a flashlight. You know, you've been using the other one. Yeah, we are on it before. That okay. way, I don't have to use uh, the battery that on this one. I can't hear you, Rick. You're mumbling. You need a battery? Yeah. So, all right. 
I might just have something for you. Yes, All right, let me grab those lunches. Uh, Jay, you need a lunch? All right. All right, give me a couple minutes. I'll be right back, guys. Here you go, Nutta. Right, thank you. Yeah, it's almost identical to yesterday. Um, but in this case, no, actually, there's a, a zebra cake in there. And a, uh, well, you'll see. Yeah. You know, same kind of drill. Sure. There you go. Are you know how this works? It 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 kill me. <laughs> All right. Put it this way. Here's the charging cable. Okay. This is what you would use to charge this device. Okay. okay. Instead of your phone. Now, with your phone, you yeah. see these two ports. Yeah, sure. You can charge two different items at the same time. Yeah, sure. All right. Now, this has a flashlight. Okay. And a compass. Okay. Built into it. Now, right here on the bottom, on the bottom right-hand side. You hold that button in for two seconds and a light comes on. Okay, whoa. Uh, yeah, it's bright. Yeah, now here, look at the differences. You can get it to flash. Yeah. There's a fast strobe, super strobe, yeah. and then to turn it off, you just hold it in for two more seconds. Okay. All those blue lights tell you how much it's charged. It, it, it takes you, sir. Yeah. That'll help you out. Jay, I'm worried about you, young man. Dude, why are you crying, brother? Would you like me to bring you to the hospital? No, can you give me another backpack? Like, this shit's getting clean, bro. It's like every time I get something, everything else just falls the fuck apart, bro. Yeah, I can search up with a backpack. What, uh... All right. Well, give me a second. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, uh, this is, saddens me to see you, you know, in this situation. I'll tell you what. Let me go get that backpack for you, and we can go from there, man. You just look like you're about to pass out, and to tell the truth, you don't look so well. We don't know each other all that well, but I've seen you a few times. Normally, you're a pretty happy guy. Now you seem more than sad. Did something happen? I just can't bro every time I try I just I try to get shit together dude just something else falls apart try to get something else together something else falls apart it's just so fucking annoying two steps forward and three steps back <laughs> well what do you need to do man how can I help you I don't know you, if you could just give me another backpack that would be helpful oh <laughs> well, yeah I can do that but I mean, what, what else do you need? All right, I'm not gonna, you know, press you. I, obviously, you're in distress. Let me get you that backpack. You just chill out, you know, cool off, drink some of that Gatorade. I'll be right back for you. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Oh man, young man's in horrible shape. Normally, if you guys have seen the other videos with him. He's normally pretty happy-go-lucky. You know, we kind of joke around a little bit and tease each other and give each other kind of a hard time. I guess it's like a guy thing. No big deal. But, uh, man, he looks in distress. I don't know what's going on, but I got a backpack for him, which is pretty awesome. His bag, his zipper's broke on his backpack, and, uh, when it won't zip up, you just lose everything. False part. Here you go, young man. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's just kind of a standard backpack. There's not a, a ton of bells and whistles to it, you know, necessarily, but. This is like, like look at this. It's stuff. I can't get it. Like. It's not gonna move, it's messing up their backpacks too. This shit mad irritating. I might have the solution for this. Let me break out my tool.
your zippers jammed up and all that thread was caught up in there. That's what I'm saying. This shit's yeah. annoying. Well, these happened in my pants all the time when I was a kid. Okay, now the zipper's offline. So now we gotta go slow. Now it's not, it's not putting it. Well, it did. It started to. You gotta go back to the beginning. Okay. Yeah, you're not missing any teeth on there. Yeah. yeah it's over with, man. Yeah, it's had better days. Damn, dude. Just a pack pack, friend. Wait a minute. This backpack was expensive, though. It's hand sport. Like, it's just like $50. Did you buy it? Yes, I bought it when I was at the mall. You bought a $50 backpack. And then how long have you had this? Oh, wow. I mean, I, I, I might, I, I think I'm already exaggerating the price a little bit. It might not have been $50. I can't really remember. It's been a while. Well, either way you look at it, it's not stuck anymore. So you can kind of do what you need to do in that regard. Uh, but you got another one. It might not be as, as high quality as that one once was, but it's okay. I'm gonna just throw this one out. It'll this close. You gave me. Well, you can use that for I don't know laundry bag or something. Whatever's comfortable. You know, no big deal. Thank you. Give me some, man. All right. Well, I hope you feel better, man, and have a better day. So, looks like you. Get, got some depression going on you know I can understand I feel like shit. Like... why are you out here in the first place I mean my, you're so young man mom doesn't give a shit about me your mom doesn't care no she doesn't it's crazy like why the fuck do you fuck my dad and have kids and you don't give a shit about your fucking kid god damn any other family in the area no, I know. My brother fucking got evicted because he's broke as hell and he won't want to fucking work. Wow. When I come to live with him, he's talking about, oh, you got to pay me 125 a month. Your fucking rent is 100 a month, dude. Why the fuck am I paying everything? Broke ass bitch. Y'all don't want to sit around and smoke weed all fucking day and talk shit about me behind my back. His fucking girlfriend's broke as hell too. All she does is talk shit. Doesn't sound like some family I'd like to be hanging around with. Yeah, that's why I fucking yeah. moved out. Yeah. I'm fucking homeless. I'm sorry, I don't really Hey, no, me. you're you're fine, man. It's uh you know, this is your time. Maybe talking about it will help you, you know, unload a little bit and make you feel a little bit better. You know. I got some family members that are complete assholes. You know, trust me. I think we all do. <laughs> you know, in one way, shape, or form. But that's to another level, you know. Your back's against the wall, man. I don't got to tell you that. But, uh... All right, Jay. Give me some, man. All right, it's good to see you, buddy. All right. All right. You, Can I come by tomorrow and check on you? Would that be all right? You going to be around, you think? Yeah, I'm going I'm to be here. Okay. All right, I'll see what I can do. All right. Well, take care, man. You know, family, uh, sometimes family isn't necessarily family. You know. I know that doesn't help you at all right now. You know, it's not uh, soothing any wounds you may have. But, uh, you know, in my opinion, you know, that's just not cool. You know, I agree with the fact that, you know, parents got to look after their kids. You know, why have them if you're just going to not help? You know? That's what I'm saying. And then, I, I, I'm I at her house and I turn 18 and she's like, oh, you got to pay rent. And I'm like, why do I have to do that when you've been paying the rent this whole time before I was 18? Before I got a job, all this shit. So why is it all of a sudden that I got to pay you $200 a week or $200 a month or something like that? 
it's like you're it's like you're not even trying to help me get on my feet and get out of your house you're just trying to take my money because i'm making money now like that shit's weird it's never been it's never made sense to me at all yeah that seems kind of odd you know it's never made sense to me at all man all right okay it's like it's like they're not even thinking about that either they're just like oh we're just gonna get money out of him and use it for our rent so we can save our money up that's what that's exactly what they're doing mm, to save their their little money and take mine and use it for rent like like are you are do you want me to get out your house or do you just want me to be here paying your rent and they're like oh you need to save your money this and that like yeah, the little money that I have left after I helped you pay rent. That's what I need to save. And it's going to just make my life harder and take way more time to get out of here. Shit's dumb. It don't make any sense. Yeah, anymore. it's making it more difficult for you to leave. Exactly. If you don't have the resources to make that move on your own, saving up some money for a down payment on a place and whatever, and you know making it way harder for me and then y'all not thinking about this shit. Y'all just well it's gonna make it easier for us if we get him to pay this, this and that. Like that shit's dumb dude. Did this happen on your 18th birthday? No, it's been happening since I was like freaking 15, 16 years old. 15, 16 your mom's asking you to pay rent? Yes, because I had a job. She was like, oh you gotta pay this and this and that amount. I'm like, what the fuck? Makes me not want to live here, but I can't really go nowhere. Like I can't, I ain't finna go live with none of my friends. Shit's man, that's horrible. All right, man, I'm gonna let you kind of, you know, sit here and gather your thoughts and whatnot. I'm not trying to intervene and pester you for information, but I could tell right away you're, you're out of sorts. Because normally you're pretty happy and we make jokes and, you know, back and forth. And I knew right away as soon as I saw you something was wrong. But, uh, all right, buddy. Well, I want you to take care, man. Thanks. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to come check on you. My email address, let me give you another card. My email address is on my card. You have a phone. I want you to contact me if you got any issues. If you get in a pinch or you need to help with something, give me a call, all right? You know, or email me. What if this was you at gmail.com? Does that sound all right? Yeah, thank you. Bro. You're welcome, man. Hey, you watch when you car. Oh, all right. All right, well, I want you to take care, man. It saddens me to see you like this. The correct here will bring you most happiness. Yeah, okay, what, what does it say? Your fortune cookie? Yeah. The correct year will bring you. The current year will bring you fortune and happiness. Yeah. Well, all right. Good deal. Yes, and what? What'd your fortune cookie say, Rick? It's not that important. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it too much. Oh, all right. I can put my glasses on for this one. You will find happiness today by being generous to those that are closest to you. That's strange because he just had the same one three days ago. Do you remember that? Yeah. He had the same fortune you did. All right, guys. Um, cool. I've been different every time, so. Who, Jason? That's Jason. Yeah. Oh. Probably had gas in a minute. Something's probably making it. Yeah, I ran out of food. It's hot today. Yeah. I gave him a cooling towel a few days ago. I saw him on Morris strolling down the street with his buddy Tim. Yeah. You know, they were working. All right, guys. Hey, man. Hey, man. Try to try to take look after this young man. Yeah. You know. Don't let him go postal. Look at you, debit card, cash. Look at you. You're living. You're living the dream. <laughs> I'm only teasing you, buddy. So. Yeah. Yeah, the cops came up my head last night. Look, wow. I said, I don't know what block is. 
Yeah, I heard something about that not too long ago. I won't talk about it right now, but yeah. that's, you know, I get in trouble when I do that. Yeah. You know, I don't want to say anything I don't know or, or see. Yeah. All right, guys, I'll let you get back to it. Right. It's pretty nasty yeah, out. Get back to my base. It, yeah, it's 90, yeah, it's 95. Actual temperature, it's over 100 with the heat thing. <laughs> Some people like to call it the real feel temperature, and I call it the heat index. I want to tell everybody thank you. My kids are watching. I love you. Oh, they are watching? That's if they watch. Oh. Well, they should be. <laughs> all right, good to see you, Rick. You too, sir. All right, man. You doing all right? Make you. Yeah. Day to day, man. Day to day. Yeah. That's all you can do, friend. All right, you guys be cool. All right, all right, I'll be back. Thank you. You're welcome. Take it easy, Jay. I'm serious, buddy. You know, man. What do you do in that situation? The man looks like he's about to break. You know. I'm not a psychologist or a therapist by any means, nor did I play one on TV or stay at a Holiday Inn Express. But he's distraught. I just hate to see that. You know, I asked him a few times, you know, what can I do? And he's like, well, <laughs> needs a backpack. Fair enough. Problem solved. Okay. Radio off. Well, that's a mess, young man. I think his 22nd birthday is in one week. I think he's going to be 22 years old on the 9th, if I'm not mistaken. Somehow I'm, I remember names and numbers. It, 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 weirdly enough, not everybody's, but quite a bit. And it's always been my thing, you know, names and numbers. You know. Then again, nobody cares. <laughs> so... All right, we're going to be back. We got more stuff to do. You know, ongoing situation. I'm glad to see Ronald's not living underneath a tree on an air mattress in this particular heat. He wouldn't survive much longer, in my opinion. But I don't know. He does get a check, but they said he's somebody said he's getting a place or he's got a place so good enough good deal G good news good news all right gonna be back